Listen to that cheer as the Hornets run out to their cars. How do the team go about making sure they send this lot home happy a little bit later? Well, I think that's the key to it. John is fabulous that, that the supporters are allowed in the stadium. Quite emotional seeing the supporters and hearing the noise. And I think the players will, will, will get a kick off of that because they'll almost feel like proper footballers again. And I hope that they give, give a, a performance that warms everybody up in the stadium because it's certainly cold out there. Both sets of players and staff take the knee. Before we get going here at Vicarage Road, it will be the Hornets to get us underway and suddenly it all feels a little bit more normal again with noise inside Vicarage Road. João Pedro gets the game underway. Ngaki with the throw that looks for Saar, but uh, Nelson comes round to clear. Cleverly finds Ngakia again. He finds Saar. Now Jeremy Ngakia into the penalty area. And João Pedro goes for goal. It's across the face of goal and wide. Neat build that play. Intricate stuff on the edge of the penalty area involving Ngakia, Saar, and João Pedro. Three of the real youngsters getting involved. And he wasn't too far away, the Brazilian, from his sixth goal of the season. No, it's nice play. Good one and two touch football. Dini's looking for the pullback. Not sure João Pedro got his head up. Before the cross, he only had one thought in his mind was to shoot for the back post. Wilson hugging the right touch line. He's got Bakuna with it. Harry Wilson. Deflects off Semmer. Bakuna forced out wide by Wilmot. Crosses from Will Volks towards Kiefer Moore, who's that's the type of ball he wants. He heads it into the rookery stand. Watford have a goal kick, but Kiefer Moore will be a threat in the air, Tommy. And even just a high hanging cross like that. Yeah, that's, a, that's their stereotype move, you know, Kiefer Moore's six foot five. It's not a coincidence that they're going to put the ball in the air. Wilson with an end swing of his left foot. It's uh, Morrison that gets his head on it, but it's a comfortable save for Ben Foster. Nelson, Moore and Morrison around the penalty spot. Out swinger from Wilson. Cabaselli gets something on, and then Kiefer Moore belts it into the corner of the rookery end net as the ball fell down. Cardiff celebrate in front of the uh, Watford supporters, and it's the visitors who strike first here at Vicarage Road. Kiefer Moore again for Cardiff City, his eighth of the season. What a signing he's proving to be. Watford didn't clear their lines. Moore made them pay. Watford nil, Cardiff City won. Well, Moore fits into... Neil Harris's style of play at Cardiff, it just drops and he's the first one to react. Falls on his left foot and from there, if he beats the, the onrushing defenders, there's nothing Ben Foster can do about it. That's a Watford free kick. And from the right-hand touchline, James Garner stands hands on hips, ready to deliver. Almost level with the edge of the penalty area. Whipped in towards the near post. Oh, and it's a great ball. everybody and goes wide. What a ball from Garner. Deeney was closest to it. Puts his thumbs up. I wonder if he's thinking that there perhaps could have been others throwing themselves at it as well. well Cardiff defended it well, but uh, a horrible ball to defend from I James Garner. Nelson's got Nelson's got his arms around Troy, but you know Troy's size and strength there. You'd, you just want each and every one of them to throw themselves at it because with a ball that good, it could be the Cardiff defenders that put it in the in the back of their own net. Nelson with the header away. Cabaselli does the same for Watford, but there's the half-time whistle. No, it's, uh, at times it's quite difficult to watch when we're not playing at, at the tempo that's going to cause Cardiff problems because their, their defensive structure is, has been sound with the exception of a few balls into the box. We've not really looked like scoring. thought you were going to steal my half-time word there. Nearly ponderous. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, John. I wouldn't <laughs> steal that from you. You're so delighted to think you're It's taken me it. 16 games to, uh, to come up with that. Right, Watford have a, are attacking the rookery end in this uh, second period. Here's Cabaselli on the halfway line. Cleverly finds a con. Just like to see Dini play in between the two centre halves, hold the middle of the pitch so that all of the midfielders know that he's going to be there for that pass into the centre of the pitch and then maybe João Pedro or somebody else can, can go in around him, get the bits, as we would say, off the striker. Here's Cabaselli, midway inside the Cardiff half. 
plays it inside the fullback, and here's Feminier. Feminier's early ball towards the far post, just too far ahead of Dini. Suddenly, a little bit of pace injected into Watford's attacking play. Capacelli with an incisive ball in between Ojo and Bennett. Feminier's cross, just too far ahead of the captain. And that's exactly what we need more of. We know we talked about their defensive shape so often. Now Garner, Hughes again. Into the feet of Xiao Pedro, looks to turn it around the corner for Dini, and he feeds Keener. Keener goes back to Ben Wilmot. And now Garner, into the centre circle, and here's Cabaselli. He looks for the run of Keener, who's into the penalty area. Domingos Keener, what an introduction this could be. Oh, it scuffed his shot, but it hits the defender and goes behind for a corner. That's a great run in behind from Keener. Fabulous pass to, to find him from Cabaselli. Great first touch, and he just tried to go for power. It's a combination of the goalkeeper and the defender that stopped it. Maybe took a little bit too much time getting those positions. You can't afford to let the ball bounce. So what for corner? They're first. Garner with it. In towards the near post, it flicks towards the far. Here's Saar, first time over the bar. The angle was against him. Got the power, but couldn't keep it down. Cardiff have a goal kick. Decent delivery that from Garner. It was a card of head that met it at the near post. Saar almost running away from goal, having to hit it back across his body. Yeah, but on his right foot, you'd expect him to hit the target. Here's Keener. Drifting infield. Feeding Garner. And plays a lovely ball into the box for Feminier. Feminier looking for Dini. It's cleared by Morrison. It'll come to Feminier again. He drags his shot. And uh, the goalkeeper parries it wide. It was going wide, but... Uh, Goalkeeper wasn't sure, lovely ball from Garner, Feminier again coming in on that from that right hand side to good effect, so nearly finding Troy Deeney this time. So much better, good accurate passing, a good way to pass to get it across, Deeney's attack in the middle of the goal, it's just really good defending from Morrison, but so much better. Watford's third corner, Garner again from the left hand side, it'll be an in swinger, again looking for that near post, flicked on by Israel Pedro, straight to the goalkeeper, but Watford win the first header. Trao Pedro holds his head in his hands. So Smithies makes a comfortable save. Well, finally, it's a dominant couple of minutes from Watford. A few waves of attack. Jao Pedro comes off the goalkeeper there to get his header. Whereas if it had been somebody else heading it, Jao Pedro would have been the man in front of the keeper to stop it. And then Wilmot clears. Dini finds Jao Pedro with his header. And then he thumps it down for one for Saar to chase. And he's going to get there ahead of Joe Bennett, who well, I think knew he was second best. And Jao Pe uh, Saar finds Feminier. Here's Saar again. Saar's crossing towards the near post, and Nelson turns it over his own crossbar. The pressure continues from the Hornets. So much better. Saar in a race. Bennett looked like he was pulling my car behind his back. The pace of Saar getting in behind for the first time, but certainly slow. Ponderous. Without ponderous. <laughs> I, I, I will use your word at one point. Uh, Norwich have turned it around at Carroll Road. They now lead 2-1 against Sheffield Wednesday. His rules into the Watford box, but uh, from an angle, he shoots high and wide from Kiefer Moore's flick on. Uh, Wickham have turned it around at Deepdale. It's Preston 1, Wickham Wanderers 2. Can Watford do the same here in the last seven and a half minutes at Vicarage Road? They still trail by a goal to nil. Garner to deliver. In towards the near post, headed away as far as Hughes inside the box. Hughes on his left foot. Thumps it wide from 15 yards. Yeah, I almost thought he was going to hit it first time as it was dropping to him. Very similar to the last corner where Saar had an opportunity at the back post. Glatzel's first to it and here's Hoyler. Keener wins it back and it falls for Dini on the edge of the penalty area. He leaves it for Saar. Saar's cross looking for Parizza far post and oh. hits it over the bar. That was the chance. It's about the only chance the Hornets have had, and Steve Paperica couldn't keep his header down. And that will just about be that. It's a difficult one it, when it comes past so many players. He's done ever so well on the far post. Outstrength is is a pausing defender, but then really he's just got. You just think if he lets it hit his head, it goes in the net. It looks like they've given him. Looks like they might have given another offside, offside anyway. perhaps. So perhaps it wouldn't have counted anyway. 
And there's the full-time whistle. It's the first home defeat of the season for the Hornets. Cardiff City victorious by a goal to nil. Watford frustrated in front of their own supporters. Click here for subscribe.